Smoke and that's a disaster. He's ready and waiting. Couldn't maybe have another one. The reload is almost in, but not in time. Fur and Main are gonna come in with a kill. Fur going down to Plopski though and Fallen. Trying to sneak one in and Plopski giving him a chance as well. But Nork is still oh! here. Oh, we sniped that away, didn't he? Mena going down. He wanted to get away with the bomb, and that's not going to be possible now. Instead, can the captain do it? He's a veteran player here, fighting against two young players, and right now, not finding it. Time running out as well. 24 seconds on the clock. He's got the bomb, sure, but he actually needs to find the kills. Try and get a bomb plan, maybe, but that won't be easy. He's had a number of chances already. But now he's even, I think, running out of bullets a little bit. And this is going to be rough. He's looking right at him. I think he was trying to fake it. Ten seconds left. It's now or never. And he gets oh. the headshot. Goes for it with seven seconds left. He's going to get the bomb plant. And now Lecro. Could it be coming through on the other side? Fallen. He's right there, but can he actually do it? He has maybe one chance oh. and he gets a headshot. What a clutch coming through. A triple kill. As MIBR pushes up these lanes, good kill from Kanji. That leaves Plopski so isolated on the bomb train, and now I, they now they know he's here. And now we know they know he's there. Yeah, immediately. And but, but the fact that he even got the kill is huge, isn't it? He's gonna go down. Taco just getting the better of that smoke fading. But any kind of kill you can get like that if you're Plopski in that scenario. I mean, that's that's what you need to get your team back into it. This time. Nothing more really came of it. Getting attacked and they make it in there before Nort gets there with the AWP. Lecro, he needs some backup and they actually get Nort first. Lecro now alone on the site and Fallen will take him down. And do they even try and retake this? No, you got to back away. There's no chance. There's Molotov in the choke point. There's going to be a follow up smoke coming in any second. Flashbangs as well. There's the smoke and Plopsky's got to back away. Rez is already backing off. And I think definitely Plopsky heard that drop down. Heard the grunt as the legs hit, but Rez did it. He's picked off. Yeah, but if one of them hears, surely they communicated Lecro, that's that's gotta be an instant kill. Taco returns and now Nork in trouble. They're close. He's got that AWP and he's missing a couple of shots already. They're hunting him down, they're coming for him. He's actually gonna get one of them in return. Mayan goes down, and I can't believe he's still alive. Finally drops, but I mean he had all the chances there to maybe pick up another couple of kills, and now Twist. He's gonna get flanked as well. KNG is right behind him. And he does not know yet. Instantly downed. And MIBR. How do they do this now? I mean, it has to be Lecro that tries to open this up, because otherwise it's not retaking with the AWP. Taco. Oh, that took a long time. Still managed to find the kill without getting shot, so that's good news. They do have a Molotov, so they could maybe put a little bit of pressure on, but no smokes to put them out. Lecro gonna get one more kill on Mayon. He's really playing a good round this time. And for He's pushed up close to it. He knows he has to be there to try and see if he can stop that defuse. That was just a fake, and they don't really have time for that. I think Fur might have been doing this anyway. Not goes down. That's definitely the round going for MIBR. Lechrome. No not chance. No, not at all, but you know, it's a triple kill for him and still not getting the round. Use that. He's not going to knife anyone. <laughs> Throw the flashbang. Show, just put him off guard here. They don't have a kit right now. Oh no. They actually need to move. He might actually win this round with no ammunition at all. He's trying to fall back as well. And finally, he goes down. They're on the bomb, and oh man, this is that's way too close. Fighting someone that essentially like can't fight it. I can't believe it. Nork, did you actually? Oh. Oh. He's so close. He deserves something. In a very, very close position. Now, if I'm NIP, I'm doing the same thing. I'm leaning on this B bomb, so that's exactly what they're kind of attacking at the moment. Taco and Fallen combined for three. It's shut down. Yeah, and remember how Lecro was alone almost every time in the beginning, and this time there was a double stack already in the B-bomb site? They were well in position for that, and the bomb is dropped down here, so there's no escaping, there's no changing your mind. Good kill on Taco, in fact, but Mayan really quick to adjust, even though he's walking across the bomb site. Twist now alone in a one versus three, and as long as they don't fight him and try and give him too many chances here, there should be nearly no way. Fur will drop him in the end. A painful situation, although this is a good start. A lot of damage with the bomb down, and Mayan just picking up two big kills. They get absolutely crushed trying to come up that chokehold inside of Main, and they know exactly where Nork is. No point in fighting him too hard. You know he's going to have to try and go somewhere, and you've got three people left. Yeah, let him get the plant if need be. Preserve the economy at all costs. Nork going to go for the default plant. Taco's boosted up. All right. That's a Kanji. Smoke's going to block him, and oh, the only chance, but not block him completely. Good find on Rez again. Just the unfortunate events continue for Rez. And MIBR does not have to be aggressive in holding this bomb site. They can allow this plant. They can sit behind these smokes. They can get kills through them anyways. Five on three for the first map. So rough, isn't it? Just the smoke and it wasn't all the way. That's incredible. Man taking down a couple of kills there. And Plopski goes down 16 to nine in favor of NIP. Oh, sorry, in favor of MIBR. I was uh, daydreaming for a little bit there. Yeah. That's... 
it's slightly better, I guess, than yesterday, but I'm still, I'm not you seeing that. See anyone. So the two B defenders are still there, and that's where the hit is going to come in. Mayern going to try an entry. Spots one in the bomb site, but it's Twist to grab from the other angle. And Fallen has the bomb just spamming through, trying to get lucky, but this is not working out for MIBR. It's definitely not. There's 10 seconds left as well. I don't know how they're going to make this through. It's a four versus three, but they need to get onto the bomb site and yeah, it's completely more than happy to challenge. They have a risky jump from Nock, but he's got at least preliminary information. And again, so much space for Fur to just kind of casually walk up, and the trade's not there fast enough. Lecro's going to hold on. Two kills for him, but it might not be enough. I mean, MIBR, they're not going to commit to anything. At the moment, they're spread. KNG in mid. Mayern's working his way into the B bomb site, and Fallen is slowly backing away. He's going to go join up with his teammates, and with the positioning that they have, it won't even matter that Fallen makes noise. That definitely felt like a communication mistake for NIP. They should not be allowed to walk in and take that fight that close to the bomb site without even getting spotted here. But uh, with K and G also getting a kill, Twist alone, and he's going to get caught. That's a good follow-up. Nice round out of MIBR. Out, so and it's a bit of a Lone Ranger mission for him at the moment. He's inside the smoke, and that's going to clear any second. Rez with the one kill on Fallen and Lecro. Now is definitely your chance. They're coming up behind him as well. 15 seconds on the clock. He turns around, and the bomb goes down. Oh, oh my god, the 180! Lecro, another kill! Three in a row, and that is going to be it. I can't believe he made that work. No. K and G drops at the end. That was so that unlikely. Was that was Molotov back there, and looks like he's gonna go straight for the fight. Man, sometimes he. Ooh, the, my fire will catch him. It looked like he, he thought the pot. Ooh, good peek from Taco. He jumps up, he's got a triple kill. One of the Molotovs didn't do anything. I think it went up in the air, so there's not a lot of pressure on Furher. They line up for Mayan, and that's a two for one. Lecro will go down, he'll get a kill instead, but it's just not enough. These AWPs. You just can't cross that line, can you? And KNG waiting in the middle probably should have been a kill right there. Don't think it matters. 10 seconds here for Rez, and he's going to go back for seconds. Smoke wow. goes up. He has a kit, but are they going to allow him to stay in there for five seconds? I mean, there's no, there's no way to be. He's up on top, jumping down. He immediately comes off, and yeah, that's, that's nothing. They've got him cross-fired in, Taco. This is... We've seen some great plays out of him, but this is way too much to ask for. And NIP playing patiently, 16 to 12, and the Swedes have done it. Winning a map and bringing us on to map number three. And here we go. Damn. Yeah, they need to wait for that smoke, or Twist might get an easy shot on someone. The timing is nearly there. Nork boosted up, and he's going to get the one with the SMG, but now the smokes are in effect. And they're hunting for it. Twist up on top of the coffin, still able to pick a kill. That's huge. 15 seconds on the clock, and backup is being called for Lecro and Rez. Actually, they're still waiting around over at the A site. They're very, very slow here. And the bomb now finally being planted. Oh. He's trying, but he's not going to get it in time. It's a good kill for Nork, but a second early, and they would have won the round right then and there. Can they make this happen? Lecro coming in from Banana, and Nork just edging out that kill. I don't know if Fur couldn't see him oh. or not, and a headshot from the FAMAS and NIP yeah, will pick up a fourth a bit round. More. 28 seconds and they're just they're being slowed down yet again here MBR. they don't have the grenades to really push them out of these positions I don't know what they're going to do 20 seconds and Rez waiting on the one side of the smoke they're using all of their attention on Lecro 16 seconds on the clock finally trying that bomb plant I can't believe the KMG oh. he follows up with a headshot this should not be happening MIBR how do they turn that into a victory no, that's going to be a re and good damage on the taco. Although mayron has got a very dangerous angle. They're wrapping around for had it, but a big win from Rez traded immediately. And now it's twist. We talked about his struggles. He's got to step up here. There's the first taco going to try and peer over the smoke and twist just trying to survive as long as humanly possible. Lecro is about to arrive, about to get involved in the action. Kanji's waiting for just that good shot from twist. Making things up still and taco. Applying the pressure now. One versus two, the no scope. Yeah, it lands. They're pretty close by. They do have a kit on two of the players and a Molotov. Let's see if they can find a way in. Taco's in the pit, and it's a powerful position. He's going to get one more headshot. They're now, now. He was gonna say, now it might not be doable any longer. I don't know how you want to try and break this one down. Fallen with an easy kill there on Plopski, and not definitely backing away. Now they are still aggressing on the bomb site, still putting on some pressure. They've rotated KNG over in time. The Molotov slow him down just enough for him to get into position. All five players in Banana for NIP. They have to hit this. They're so close to it. I mean, there's going to be no delay. Flashbang to get him off the angle. He peeks back in and Twist is ready. And first got no chance. Even if he gets one or two kills there, they probably still cannot save the round. This should, by all means, be absolutely impossible here for MIBR. Even if they've tried their best, this should, this should be the end of the road here. NIP 
fight, taking all the strength to get back on the first map. And here we go, 16 to 9. They bring it to a close and take down MIBR 2 to 1. That is, that's a great comeback overall in the series. They looked very, I mean, even towards the beginning there on, um, on Vertigo, it was looking really rough. It's, it's a comeback overall.